Hello friends, the objective of today's tutorial is to find out whether the given sequence is graphical or not. So let's understand this particular term graphical. So before that, let's understand what is the degree sequence of the given graph. So let's say graph has n vertices v1, v2, v3 up to vn and corresponding degrees are d1, d2, d3 up to dn. Then this particular n tuple d1, d2, d3 up to dn is called the degree sequence of the graph. Now we are interested in the reverse question. Let's say one sequence is given, sequence of non-negative integers is given and we are supposed to say whether a simple undirected graph with po this potential degree sequence exists or not. If such a graph is present, then we will say that the given sequence is graphical otherwise we will say that the given sequence is not graphical and now we have one more thing why we are considering only sequence of non-negative integers why we are not considering negative integers because ultimately we are considering graphs so in graphs degrees are non-negative integers only so therefore we are not considering negative integers so let me start with a very simple sequence. Let's say the given sequence is like this 2, 2, 2, right? And we, we are interested in finding out whether this particular sequence is graphical or not. So for that, the inbuilt function is, is graphical. And after that, we are supposed to write down the sequence. So here sequence is P. So I will just write down P. And as you can see, the answer is 2. And this is correct because ultimately the sequence is corresponding to C3 or K3. Now, uh, if you are aware, then there are two criteria for uh, in order to identify whether the given sequence is graphical or not, namely Havel Hakimi and Eidos Galai. So you can also specify whether you want to use, let's say, Havel Hakimi criteria. Then you can mention like this. If you mention this, then ultimately you are going to use Havel Hakimi criteria. And if you mention e.g. then ultimately you are going to use Eldos Galai. So before we go further let's verify whether this uh, function is giving correct result or not. So, so let me take one more sequence like this and since you are since you know that if de degree sum is odd then ultimately the sequence is not graphical so answer must be false. So let's verify this. So instead of p now I am taking p1 and as you can see the answer is false so now let me take some complicated sequences so let me take one sequence q right so q is this sequence 1 1 3 3 4 5 6 7 and now let's verify whether this let's see whether this sequence is graphical or not so we'll just write down q here so you can see it's false right and you can verify this answer by yourself and let me take one more so now I am taking this particular sequence R4444576 and as you can see there is no criteria regarding uh, ordering of this numbers right so this numbers can be in increasing order can be in decreasing order and can, can be in any random order it doesn't matter so all you need to do is you are just supposed to write this one line Right? And it will say whether the sequence is corresponding to degree sequence of a simple undirected graph or not. So the main advantage of this function is you can easily verify whether you are after applying let's say Hevel Hakimi whether you are getting correct answer or not that right? you can easily verify by this. Other related methods are listed in the description section. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.